name is Jack Archer, and I'm a pilot of the Robotech Defense Force. I was born just before the global war. My parents died soon after the war began, so I had to learn how to survive on my own. Sometimes I wonder what kind of person I might have been if things were different. It's one of my darkest fears. If you took the war out of me, would there be anything left? The global war had been going on for a long time. All the experienced pilots were dead. My government was desperate, and the draftees started getting younger and younger. I needed a way to escape all that misery on the ground, so I didn't mind much when I got drafted. Flight training came easy to me. It was like I was meant to be a pilot. They said I had a rare talent, but somehow I didn't see it that way. After a few years, the government dissolved. I became a mercenary, hiring out to any nation that could afford me. I didn't care, just so long as I stayed up in the clouds where I could forget about all the troubles down on Earth. The war ended in a single day. All it took was a miracle. A gigantic alien spaceship broke through hyperspace on a collision course with the Earth and crashed into a small island in the South Pacific called Macross Island. The leaders of the world's nations called a ceasefire and assembled the most brilliant minds of the time to examine the spaceship and assess the possible threat of alien invasion. The evidence they found pointed to a highly advanced civilization with technology far beyond what we had on Earth, something the scientists called robotechnology. But there was an even greater discovery. The scientists found a supply of protoculture aboard the ship, a new and nearly inexhaustible energy source used to power the alien machines. The spaceship was some kind of advanced warship, bristling with powerful weaponry. They called it the Super Dimension Fortress, or the SDF-1 for short. They began rebuilding the ship as they unlocked the secrets of robotechnology. After the arrival of the SDF-1, work kind of dried up for a while. With the war over, no one wanted to hire mercenaries. The world was at peace for the first time I can remember. And I was starting to get used to the idea. And those were happy times. I had been living in Macross City, helping to rebuild the SDF-1. I was just getting used to my new life when Roy Foker, the legendary Skull leader himself, recognized me as I was getting off work. We had met a few times during the war. Sometimes I was on his side, and sometimes I flew against him. Over the years, we ended up forming a friendship. He told me he needed pilots to join a new military outfit called the Robotech Defense Force. Roy said they had some new kind of high-performance fighter that could beat anything I ever flew. They called it a Veritech. I made Roy prove it to me. Fighter to fighter. Why did the military need a transforming fighter? It was well known that the aliens were warriors, but there was one detail that was kept from the public. In a top secret debriefing, we were informed that evidence from the crash indicated the aliens were 40 foot tall giants. The RDF developed the Veritech fighter to fight the aliens on their own terms it would mean the difference between survival and extinction. After my training, I was stationed with the carrier Prometheus on Macross Island. On the day the final construction of the SDF-1 was completed, the entire city prepared to celebrate. That was when the Zentradi arrived. The SDF-1 belonged to them, and they were determined to take it back.